Now, despite Fonnie Willis being on the stand today for her alleged misconduct, she still found a way to point the finger, of course, at Donald Trump. Dog bites, the beast things, you're feeling sad, blame Trump. And here's what she had to say during one of her many outbursts today. You're confused. You think I'm on trial. These people are on trial for trying to steal an election in 2020. I'm not on trial, no matter how hard you try to put me on trial. Now, Trump called out Willis following her testimony in an interview with Fox News Digital. The former president said, quote, the case will have to be dropped. The whole thing was a scam to get money from for the boyfriend. Meanwhile, Donald Trump was in New York City today, where a judge denied his request to dismiss what, eight-year-old charges brought against them by Alvin Bragg over all things Stormy Daniels, Stormy, 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 yet again. Now, that criminal trial is scheduled to begin on March 25th, but Trump has vowed this will not stop him from hitting the campaign trail. President Trump is awaiting more news out of New York tomorrow, where a very, very, well, uh, a judge that is not exactly Trump's fan is going to we know rule against him in every way imaginable uh, in that civil fraud case. I hear now with more legal spokeswoman for the former president, Alina Hava is with us. Right, Alina, I, I've said this from the beginning. There's not a single, there's not a chance, frankly, in hell that I see that Donald Trump's going to get any fair trial in New York. Now they're going to start a trial about Stormy Daniels. We were talking about Stormy Daniels in 2016. That is eight years ago. And they're just, they're only now in an election year. Oh, they found it a convenient time after the previous DA passed on any charges. Let's bring it up in an election year by the guy that allowed no bail for five guys on tape, illegal immigrants beating the hell out of two New York City cops. They, they got to go to the sanctuary state of California after they walked out of uh, prison, no, no bail, d gave the, the world the double finger and headed out to the West Coast. Wow. What a, what a great state that is. Yeah. Yeah. It's really unbelievable, Sean. Uh, it, you know, I wouldn't believe it if I wasn't the one sitting in these trials myself, I'll be honest with you, where they're trying to put civil attorneys in jail for objecting to evidence. This is the state of New York. This is where we are. And watching this trial today, watching what was happening at that hearing, they're all the same. I have to be honest with you. I've seen it time and time again now. I've, I've had the pleasure of working for the president for, for the past few years. And I can tell you, this is all corrupt. It is all absolutely election interference. There is no way, as you point out, that the Stormy case would come about now in the middle of an election, in the middle against the leading candidate. And you know who that was brought from? Michael Cohen, real reliable source we have there. So the desperation is real. The Trump derangement syndrome is real. And it is pathetic and obvious. And now we're seeing money laundering and money funneling coming through. You can't make it up. They're going to the Biden administration. They're taking visits to the White House. They're coordinating with other DAs and AGs. Do not get it twisted. He has done absolutely nothing wrong. But in the great state of New York, don't worry. They'll bring and put their nose in a private company and try and disgorge you for doing what? Having a statement of financial condition that was undervalued. But a judge will say, oh, Mar-a-Lago is worth $18 million. They definitely overvalued their statements of financial condition. Well, yeah, if you're using ridiculous numbers like that, Sean, oh, Alina, it is it's, crazy. It, it's, it's like the January 6th committee. They have a predetermined outcome. The maximum penalty is, yeah. is going to be given to Donald Trump maybe as early as tomorrow, from what I understand. OK, so... Judge yeah. Ngoron is going to say, OK, uh, Mar-a-Lago, this is a valuation case. He's still sticking to his valuation of $18 million for Mar-a-Lago. That, that is far worse of a valuation than anything they're accusing Donald Trump of, number one. Number two, they're going to cancel the whole Trump family. They'll put a conservatorship in place. He won't have control of his properties. Cancel the whole family, the whole organization. What, to fulfill a campaign right. promise from a pretty ambitious attorney general in that state? Because that seems to be what the reality is, on top of going back eight years now for Stormy Daniels. Wow. All in an election year. How it's convenient. 
It's 100 percent what it is. And I could I got to tell you what I saw today was a lot like Miss James in New York. It's a similar fact pattern. It's the similar arrogance that you're seeing come out of it because they know they have these judges in their pockets and they have Soros backing or whoever it is, the Reed Hoffman's of the Democratic Party backing this. This is not what the courts are supposed to be used for, Sean. And it's disgusting. It's disgraceful. I really want to say to any of the judges that are out there listening that have anything left in terms of looking at the cases, looking at facts, looking at law, make our profession proud. Because what I'm seeing is, is, is complete politicization of our legal system. It's not right. It's an election year. It's election interference. You shouldn't be tying up a candidate. And now we got Stormy Daniels. I mean, who? her lawyer went to jail. Michael Cohen just perjured himself, admitted to it on the stand. How much lower can we go? Read Pomerantz's book if you have any questions about it. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, and it has to stop, Sean. Honestly, the only way we're going to stop it's, it's it is in 2024. It's ridiculous, and it has I really to stop. That. I don't think the president yeah. can get a fair hearing in New York. I don't. I certainly don't believe. I no. think he got five percent of the vote in D.C. I don't think he can get a fair he trial there at all. Uh, he certainly was never going to get one out of Fulton County, Georgia. Maybe Florida, he has a fair shot. But that case never should have happened, especially in light of what we learned from the Robert Hur report about Joe Biden and his classified document scandal. <laughs> especially what we know about Hillary Clinton. No reasonable prosecutor would prosecute. Wow. If that's not a dual justice yeah. system, I don't know yeah. what is. We'll give you the final word. Yeah, it's 100 percent right. Don't forget, we, we went after Hillary Clinton for something that we know is true and, and the Russia hoax. And we got fined a million dollars and sanctioned. And the case got thrown out without me ever even meeting the judge. I never met the judge one time, never spoke to him, never walked into court. That is the state of our country right now, everybody. We need to wake up and step up. That's the truth. And don't worry, the compliant media that lied about the Russia hoax for three long years, never made a correction, no apologies. Uh, they peddle conspiracy theories, no consequences. Nobody seems to care. Right. Sad times. Alina Haba, no. thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.